Hey y'all, so I am back for another video. As you can see from the title of this video, I have some heat damage. So I wanted to come on here and show you guys how I plan on fixing it or covering, hiding it until my hair can grow out. Um, so as you saw in the last video, I did do a blowout in my hair um, with blow dryer and flat iron to trim my ends. So typically I do that twice a year. Like I said, just to trim my ends and I don't have any problems with my hair reverting back or having any straight pieces or anything like that. But over the summer, I wore braids for almost the entire summer. And that's, you know, fine. Braids are, are fine. But um, I wasn't properly taking care of my hair in between taking the braids out and rebraiding it. Um, as far as a good moisture and protein balance, I just wasn't taking the time out to do that. And I also was using a lot of blow drying heat on my hair to just quickly blow my hair out in order to braid it. So I wanted to come here and show you guys that I am my worst, my own worst client and I don't follow my own instructions and this is just how I plan on fixing it. So last night I did shampoo my hair and that's when I saw the heat damage. So um, prior to this video, I did cut a couple of inches off just because they were completely straight. I know, I knew it was no way that I could bring that section of hair back, but um, I, I do want to show you, you know, what I plan on doing from now on to fix it. So here are the products that I'm going to use. I'm going to be using the Afogee Shampoo for Damaged Hair. Dang it. Dang it. And I'm going to be dang going dang in dang with, dang a, dang with a two-step protein treatment. And anybody that knows anything about Afogee, Afogee is like the bomb when it comes to protein treatment. It's the bomb when it comes to protein treatments. And then I'm going to go in with the Afogee Curl Curlific Texture Treatment Conditioner. And then I'm going to see what my curls look like. So as of now, the damage is mainly back here. I don't know if you can see, if you can really tell. But um, this is, you know how it looks. It's, it's straight right up in there. This whole section back here. So, and then I have a few pieces up here. This side of my hair... This side of my hair is my weaker side anyway, and in the last video, you'll see that I did talk about turning the heat down a little bit, just because I didn't want to use as much heat on that, but as you can see, it still did not make much of a difference. So These are the results, so I'm pretty satisfied. Um, I'm going to continue to do probably a protein treatment once, and I'll probably go ahead and do a protein treatment once a month. That's what I used to do. I got away from it, and then my hair ended up getting damaged, um, and then in between, I'm going to use the... Shea Moisture, Manuka Honey, and Mafura Oil. Anyway, it's an intensive hydrating. Um, oh, this is the Twisting Custard. I meant to get the conditioner. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and trim these straight ends off and do my two-strand twist and call it a night. So, I hope this helped you guys that might have some heat damage. If it's not extreme, this is what you can do to kind of bring your curls back. And my hair is not all the way back, but it's definitely... A whole lot looking a whole lot better than what it was looking like so I'll continue to work on it and I will talk to you guys later